Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy and today's lesson we're doing the classic Phil Wood solo on the tune Just The Way You Are. Now I've put this solo into three different skill levels. For the advanced version that will be just like the original so you'll be able to learn this and play along with the original record. Now the original is in quite a tricky key, it's in concert D major which is B major on the altos and E major on the tenors. And Phil Woods is quite an amazing sax player and he's playing over the full range of the instrument. But to make this more accessible for the beginner version I've moved this into the nice friendly key of G major so you've only got one sharp to worry about. I've also simplified some of the phrases by taking out a lot of the grace notes. Grace notes are those very quick notes that lead you into the main note. So I've removed those and I've also shifted some of the notes into a more easily playable range. So they're either not really high or they're not really low. Along with this I've also slowed it down as well. The original is around 140 bpm but for the beginner version we're going to be taking this at a much steadier 100 bpm. Now you should get yourself the free pdf of this beginner version and that's available in the youtube library at onlinetaxacademy.com and the link to that is down below. Once you've got that you'll be able to print it off and it's much easier to practice and play along at home. And premium members at Online Sax Academy will be able to get the intermediate and advanced level PDFs along with backing tracks and example performance tracks that they can download and use that to practice along with. As I said, I have already slowed this down from the original tempo, but if you want to slow it down even more, then you can use YouTube's playback speed settings. Now for the intermediate version I've put this into C major for alto saxes which is F major for tenor saxes and this allows you particularly on the alto sax to play more true to the original with the full range of the sax but you don't have all of those sharps to worry about I've removed the grace notes and it's not quite full speed either. Having it in an easier key like C major as well can really help with analysing what he's playing so you can take some ideas. If you're learning how to improvise you can see the kinds of things he's doing over these chords and use that as inspiration for your own solos as well. And remember premium members will have the backing track which means you can play this original solo but if you're learning to improvise you can also try varying this solo and even putting in your own solo over this backing track as well. Alright so here's that intermediate version. Alright so now it's time for that advanced version. So this is in the same key as the original so B major on the alto and E major on the tenor and I haven't moved any of the phrases into easier ranges this is exactly how Phil Woods plays it and it's also at the original tempo as well but of course you can always slow this down when you're practicing first of all. Alright so here's this advanced version.
All right, so remember to head to Online Tax Academy to get your free PDF. And if you're not a premium member yet, then do head over to the memberships page where you'll see everything that's on offer. When you become a premium member, you'll be able to access everything that's on the site, including all the premium content in the YouTube library, all the courses on the courses page, the private forum, and all the extra practice resources we have in the shared as well. All right, let me know in the comments how you got on with this one. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.